Uh, cognitive distortion number nine is the Barnum effect. If you, um, I don't even know if they have these anymore, the Barnum-Bailey circus. Um, we'll go to the history of these effects later in a different video. Uh, but this is named for a, a, um, a man that ran a circus. I, I don't want to call him a con man. You know what, you can look up Barnum-Bailey circus and the Barnum effect in some other YouTube videos and check out a longer history of it. But for a cognitive distortion or bias, think of the Barnum effect as when you see personally specific details in general statements. So when someone comes up, uh, and you have to be aware of this because this is how someone can, uh, a con man or someone trying to uh, fleece you or fool you, or again, the process of civilization makes heavy reliance on the Barnum effect. Uh, when people make general statements and you see very personal specifics in that statement, that'd be like if I come up and I'm trying to talk to you and I say, oh, you know, I get the sensation that you really enjoy like warm liquids, like you like a nice warm drink, especially in the morning. And then you think, oh my God, I really do. Well, I mean, no shit. Uh, the vast majority of, of Americans drink coffee and typically first thing in the morning. So one of the ways you can co combat the Barnum effect or being the victim of this distortion is to, uh, when something is, is said to you or, or an argument is, is uh, proposed to you or a uh, compliment is given to you sort of unsolicited uh, and it seems like they're trying to get something, you can step back and think, well, how would that statement apply to everybody or anybody else besides just me? Just basically take a second and see if anything is directed at you that seems to be specific. Um, take a moment to see if it really is specific or could be applied in a, in a, a general sense. Um, my biggest pet peeve with this are these these mediums and, and after-death uh, modern-type necromancers. Like, what's that one dipshit's name? Uh, I can bleep all that out later. John Edwards, the guy that used to hold these huge seminars, and he would come in. He was an expert at the Barnum effect and cold reading, body reading, um, uh, discovering your your biases, and then manipulating that, and then fleecing people out of money because he claimed to talk to uh, deceased relatives or you know um, someone's in the grieving process. Like, oh, I I talked to your you know your aunt, and uh, she says everything will be fine. You know that that sort of thing. I guess if his if, if his intention was just to provide um, solace or uh, comfort to someone, it'd be one thing. But when he's he's using this Barnum effect uh, to take advantage of people or make money, that's just uh, it's, uh, it's reprehensible. So uh, beware of the Barnum effect. Uh, oops, hit puberty. The um, the idea that there's a, he said famously there's a sucker born every minute. Uh, so think about this one.